Hey, this is Mike. Before I get started, hit the subscribe button, please. I know you're going to be very happy with the content on my channel. I have hundreds of videos like this one. So if you could, go ahead and subscribe right now. All right, let's continue on. And at any time you have any questions as I'm going through the vehicle, please leave it in the comment section. I'll try my best to address your questions. And also, there's a whole bunch of experts that watch my channel and they will uh, chime in with some answers as well so here it is 2015 Toyota 4Runner Limited in red like a burgundy style kind of a darker red burgundy style red super nice vehicle four-wheel drive one of the first things that really caught my eye was the combination of not only the color but also these 20 inch aluminum wheels with the gloss black paint and the metal showing through just gives it a really awesome look. I don't know if it's, it's sporty, it's classy, it's all that all packaged into one. Plus you got some chrome accents around the vehicle. So let's go ahead and start here in the front. It does have the projector headlights here in the front and the reflector for the high beams. It does, that's the daytime running light as well. And the fog lights are down here. You do have the sonar sensors for parking sensors here in the front and the back. You can see the little round circles there. Grill is really nice. Chrome accented with the black in the middle and then the, the color matched bumper really impressive looking vehicle all right let's so let's take a look in this door first there's the inside of the passenger door you can see it's all black pretty much except for this metallic trim here and the white contrast stitching You have a bottle holder down here as well as some storage space but you also have this neat little spot here uh, to put like your cell phone can go there uh, really neat little pocket there I really wish we, uh, be, more vehicles would have that style of uh, storage pocket that's just really handy uh, you can access it before you even enter the vehicle you're standing right here you're entering empty in your pockets or whatever happens to be in your in your hands you can go ahead and throw it in there before you actually get in now it is a uh, power seat and black leather bolstered seats with the perforations here that are heated and cooled. You do have the white contrast stitching on the seats as well. Got some wood grain accents there. You have a handle to get in and out of the vehicle. And you can also, if you wanted to, get the uh, deployable steps which is pretty cool they'll just pop out when you open up the door there's the glove compartment pretty good size let's take a look here in the back all right you have the same styling here in the door you still have that pocket there that I really like and the back doors as well very good amount of leg room, big seats. They look very, very comfortable. Then you have the contrast stitching and the perforations in the back seat as well. Now this flips down, which gives you some cup holders and an armrest in case you need it. You have two 12 volt power supplies, so you don't have to fight over one. When you're powering your devices and then you have a two vents so you can don't have to fight over the vents either in the back of the front seats have these nets for putting stuff too now these seats do uh, fold down this part is a 60 40 split so you can have a combination of cargo and passenger but these do fold down um, I don't know if the seat the free out of the front seats a little bit too far back but um, these will fold down flat and give you the uh, additional uh, cargo capacity if you need it. Put that back 
back up. Put that down. Alrighty, let's take a look around here in the back. It does have that spoiler there at the top to get the airflow around the vehicle better. And factory spoilers are actually, they do serve a purpose other than just for looks. That does help the aerodynamics of the vehicle quite a bit or they wouldn't even put it on there. So back here, you can see it does have the sonar parking sensors across the back, those little circles. It has the towing package as well. Spare tire is under there. Here's your backup camera lens, which I'll show you what it looks like when we get on the inside. So, under here, uh, lots of cool things back here. Now, since this is a forerunner and it's four-wheel drive, uh, they probably they figure that you're gonna kind of use it for a little bit more than just grocery shopping. So, under here, you have these lights that you can turn on, and you do have some speakers up here, and they are part of the JBL premium sound system, which really sounds good. And there's the subwoofer. Now, in addition to that, you do have a power supply 12 volt here, but you have a 400 watt Edison plug here, just like you would find in your house. So you can plug in a radio or all kinds of different things to that. You don't even need a generator. The vehicle provides the power that you need. 400 watts, that's amazing. You can power a power drill or something. So, um, you do have some these little shelf parts right here for putting stuff but this thing right here will extend out this is kind of like kind of converts into like a tailgate you can actually sit on this or you can you know put stuff here while you're jamming out to your radio and you have the lights and everything so it's kind of like a little shelter kind of tailgate party going on here 400 pounds 440 pounds this thing holds so literally you can sit on there Maybe two people can sit on there and hang out, listen to the radio, and you can also plug in something there, um, any laptop, or whatever you want. Or another thing about this is, let's say you have a heavy box and you want to put it back here. It's kind of heavy and it fits, um, you know, it's about the same size as this or smaller. You can set it there, here, okay? So you set the heavy box here and you slide it in. So now it's in the vehicle versus trying to reach over, bending over and hurting your back, trying to reach in and putting it in there or setting it down and sliding it in on all that stuff. This is really cool. And then when it's time to take it out, you just slide this out. It brings it forward to you and you can, you know, one or two people could lift it up right on out of the vehicle. So there's lots of different things you can do with this slider system with the heavy dutiness of it. Um, you also have, when you slide this out, you can see it has these little hooks here, uh, so you can hang stuff. Um, not really sure exactly what you can hang there, but I don't know. I'm sure you can think of stuff that you'd hang, but it does have the hooks there. Also, under here is some storage space. It's kind of far back in there, but you do have the ability to put some tools or whatever you want out of there in there and it's kind of out of the way and then you got the tie downs at the four corners there and there's a handy strap for lowering it down all right wait till you see the power glass that back glass okay here's the gas cap gas door there's the gas cap the gas cap you take it off, it does have this plastic string here and you just hang it in that little spot so it doesn't hang down and scratch your paint. I'll quickly give you another perspective here from the other side. All right, let's take a look under the hood. All right, 
that it's just here to the right to the center of the um, of the Toyota symbol there it does have the pistons to lift it up for you once you get it up a few inches but this 4.0 liter V6 has a little bit of a plastic cover there but I can actually see some engine over here that's exciting I like to see some engine, not plastic. Two hundred and seventy horsepower, four point oh liter V six, hooked up to a five speed automatic transmission. Alrighty, let's take a look on the inside. So the Limited has this proximity key that's still in the bag because it's brand new and that's what the key looks like. And so basically you just have this in your pocket or your purse and you just walk up and you put your hand behind the handle there and it will unlock. Uh, to, to lock it, you just put your finger here. So right now it's running so it's not gonna lock, but locking and, un locking and unlocking it is just as simple as Putting your hand on the handle, you can keep your your uh, key in your pocket or your purse. And once you get inside, of course, you just push the button and you're ready to go. All right, so here we are on the inside. Really nice, capable vehicle. I mean, there's all kinds of convenience features, safety features, plenty of room. I've got plenty of knee and leg room. I mean, really comfortable. Seats are very comfortable all right so let's start here on the left side of the door here on the driver's door so you do have some presets here for your power seats and your door lock controls and your wind power window controls are actually pretty high up here and they're all auto it says right there, all auto. So even the back windows, you can just push it one time and it goes all the way down and up. Door locks are here, and then you can lock out the uh, window controls if you want to, so uh, that way you don't have anybody in the back rolling up and down the windows if you don't want to. So just right here, to the left of the steering column, we have a few buttons. And this one is for the side mirrors. You can control them. You just have to choose which side and you can you know adjust the mirror if you want this is for your interior lighting uh, the dimmer switch for your interior lights you can make it brighter or dimmer your parking sensors you can always turn those off uh, there's the control for that they will be on unless you turn them off so you see that beeping noise that's the noise it actually make if you get close to something so I wanted to uh, make you aware of that right here is a pretty cool button this will heat up the area underneath your windshield wipers so your windshield wipers are down and they get snow and ice and, and and all this stuff on them and they might get stuck to the windshield but just under the windshield wipers on the windshield there's a heater and you just turn that on and it will heat up that area and loosen up your windshield wipers here is to turn on your uh, your 400 watt Edison plug back there and you can push that to turn it on. Alrighty. So let's check out the leather wrap steering wheel. It is very comfortable and has a little bit of a give to it, has a good thickness. It's hand stitched on the inside. Then you have these bolsters here on either side. And the steering wheel actually in the leather has some dimples for extra grip and um, just kind of looks awesome too so the bolsters here uh, help you get some vertical grip going that way so it has a few buttons on it and so let's start with this button back here the, the non obvious one uh, this is your cruise control you can make sure it's turned on by pushing this button in like that and it will give you an indicator light that green button there and once it's on you can set it by pushing it down you can adjust your speed by going up and down and you can cancel it by pulling it in and then you can turn it on and off that way so just above right here you have some 
some buttons and you can see it has looks like a phone on there because that's what it does uh, once you pair your Bluetooth phone with the system you can send and receive and you know calls uh, using these buttons on the side so you're driving along the radio is playing all of a sudden the radio dims down and then you start hearing a ringing sound well that's somebody trying to call you you answer the call by pushing that button you start talking have a conversation and when you're done you push this button to hang up so really really good safety feature keeps your eyes on the road hands on the wheel while you are taking calls now if you need to make a call all you have to do is push this button and say call a specific person so call John Smith or whoever happens to be in your phone book or you can actually say the numbers and, and dial the number that way you can also use that for um, you know diff controlling your radio and stuff uh, I'll go into more a little bit more detail on the radio in a minute but so the voice recognition is a really good convenience feature but of a, it's a heck of a good safety feature because you are being staying productive while maintaining focus on your driving so definitely don't want to get distracted from your driving but also you know gives you the ability to stay productive make and receive calls and all that good stuff so this right here this display corresponds uh, with this center screen between the gauges now look at those gauges they're colorful they look really good you've got that blue accent you got the silver you got the lights illuminate the back lit lit illumination there um, you got your RPMs there on the left very easy to read same thing with the uh, miles per hour on the right fuel gauge temperature gauge all that good stuff but right in the center you have that little screen there and you you see it shows a miles per hour so I can push that display button and it'll change to different things so you can get the average miles per gallon current miles per gallon uh, cruising range like how far you can go with the existing gas and elapsed time since you've reset it uh, and then your speed and basically um, you can go into settings too so now this little car showing up here let me go back to it I think that's where your power is going to if I'm not mistaken uh, let's see here I'm not really sure what that little car is. Maybe you can explain it to me. But, um, you know, it, it just shows the front wheel. So I'm assuming that's where your power is going at the moment, or I'm not really sure. So maybe you can explain that to me if you happen to know if you have any experience with this vehicle. So, anyways, that's the little screen there. And then you got some settings. So at the bottom, it has a digital compass. So you can see that little W there. Uh, that's showing that the vehicle is facing west. And, uh, and then 99 degrees outside it is very hot, extremely hot. That's why I have the air conditioning on. Then you have the odometer, two miles on this vehicle, two miles. All right, so on the left side of the steering wheel, we have the volume for, your, for the radio. And then these buttons are also for your radio. You can change through uh, like stations going left and right, or you can go up and down and change through like say your presets here on the radio. So, so you can go up and down on the presets and then you can push that button to make selections and then you can go back out of certain screens. Now the mode, uh, pushing mode button will change like AM, FM, satellite radio, the different ways of actually playing music, auxiliary, um, there's an AV, there's all kinds of different ways to play music through the sound system and that's what the, mo the, uh, the mode button does. All right, here's your headlight controls. You have automatic mode. You can turn your daytime running lights off if you want to. There's your uh, parking lights and then there's your headlights. I would leave it on automatic all the time. That's my preference. And then your fog lights you can turn on and off here. Right here is your, um, your windshield wipers and controls there. All right, so you do have a pretty Pretty kind of retro digital clock up there, which is convenient. I like it. Uh, it's real easy to set. So here's the center stack. And it's backlit in blue, looks like. Um, I'd really like to see this thing at night. It really looks, I'm sure it looks really good. There's your push button start. And as I mentioned, uh, you know, you don't have to actually have the key in your 
out. You can have it in your pocket. And unlock the doors, you get in, you push your foot on the brake, you push the button, it starts right up. So here's this radio. It has a C retro, with the retro clock, you've got a retro CD player. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's got the CD player there. You've got these big knobs, right and left. This is your volume, and there's your tune through the stations. Those are, you know, kind of a throwback thing. Um, they have those knobs like that. But everybody's used to it, so that's good. That, that way people can get in the vehicle and they can, you know, get started right away. They don't have to think about it or look. So pushing this audio button um, gets you to this screen, typically. Uh, and this is for, you know, what your radio is doing. Apps would go to this screen, and this is has your, like, little icons, sort of like what you'd see in a computer. Uh, you can go into your navigation, your audio, your phone, messages, setup, traffic, weather, all that stuff. And so let's go into the navigation. And this is what the map looks like. And you can zoom in and out, get your bearings, you know, and you can show your, your distance there. I'm um, not really close to a whole lot of stuff, so it's kind of hard to... But you can see a little bit. And then the destination, uh, this is where you can put in a specific address. You can save addresses in an address book. You can hit go home if your home address is saved in here. You can look through your previous destinations, uh, that kind of stuff. Go back. And there's your screen. And then there's home button. It's a kind of a combination between your, uh, your map there as well as what your radio is doing and what your phone's doing. So, you know, the, the, the holy trinity there, I guess. So you can seek through different tracks and stuff through the CD player. And this right here is not a button. That's where your SD card goes into to upgrade your navigation maps. And like I said earlier, this is a JBL premium sound system, so it sounds fantastic. All right, so here's the climate control down here. It's got, it has these two big knobs, really easy to understand. You got your temperature for both sides. Driver can adjust his temperature his the way he wants. Passenger, same thing. Now you can always sync them by turning off this dual button. Now both of them will be the same temperature. So the whole vehicle basically will be at the same temperature if you want to do that. And here's your fan speed where you want the air to blow. And um, you can always turn it off if you want to. And then you got front and rear defrosters. When you turn your rear defroster on, it also turns on your heated side mirrors as well. That's what that little symbol is there for. So down here, we have your USB and auxiliary inputs behind this little cover. 12 volt power supply there, and then here's your heated and cooled seats. Right now I've got the cooled seat on, which is really helping me out since it's such a hot day. You just push it in um, to get it out of the way and if you're not using it. Down here is a pretty nifty little pocket there. It's not really big enough to like put a cell phone, I don't think, um, I guess. If I kind of wedge it in there, I guess it fits in there. Um, but that's that's a neat little pocket to put some stuff. This is if, this is a four-wheel drive vehicle. Okay, so you can actually go into like four-wheel drive low in this, um, you know, do some really off-road stuff. So that's how you do it there with that knob. And then you got a bottle holder there, cup holder. Um, here's the perfect place to put your cell phone. That's what what it's really designed for. It looks like. And then, of course, you can always lay it down because it has this open spot there to have a little bit of flex space. So that's your cell phone holder as far as I'm concerned. Cup holder. Now, right here is the fun part. So I'm going to aim the camera back here so you can see that that back glass is automatic, too. You just push it, and it goes all the way up or all the way down. Isn't that awesome? The whole back glass rolls up and down just like you would roll it up and down your window on the door. I mean, it's, that's cool. So you can really get some serious airflow through this vehicle. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the shifter here. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in reverse like that so you can see the backup camera pops up. Also, your sonar sensors, um, you know, will be active too. So you don't actually, you know, it'll beep at you if you get close to something. And when I say sonar sensor, that's the actual term they use in the book. So it is actually sonar sensors. They use a sound ranging, um, you know, I, don't, I forget the name of the, the, what it means, but it uses a little sound pulse to, uh, to locate things around the vehicle. Um, the radar would be setting everybody's radar detector off. So I guess they use the, the sonar system. But anyways, the backup camera is a uh, wide-angle view 
and you can see the horizon is curved so it's you know quite a bit of distortion in the in the view but it gives you a bunch of broader view behind the vehicle I mean you can see the bumper all the way to the sky and really far around so you can see if there's anything back there and you don't want to hit something but since it's a a distorted view it does have these guidelines here to give you an estimated width of the vehicle also uh, gives you that red no-go zone so you don't want to get any closer to that to uh, something than that red line uh, it may look like you have some more space but it's really really close to the vehicle the distance between here and there to your bumper and the red line is only just an inch or two or a couple inches but down here it's like you know several feet so um, you know the distortion is necessary to give you the best view but you do want to pay attention to the guidelines for sure all right so let's continue down with the shifter there's neutral there's drive and this is your normal drive position and you just drive around and it goes the cycles through the gears um, just like any other you know five speed automatic transmission uh, but if you need to actually change the gear ratio like say lower you know downshifting or whatever you can slide it over here into what they what you know like a sport mode um, and you can cycle through the gears if you want to so looking right here you can see in the center it has the S and one so I can cycle it through and I'm not sure if it'll actually let you start off in fifth gear but it does give you the ability to change the gear ratio um, to whatever you need it to be so that's the the main purpose of that so um, Anyway, pretty simple design as far as a shifter, really classy looking. It has the black leather and then the, the dark wood there. Center console is here. This lifts up and gives you a pl plenty of storage space under here, as well as a little spot there, I guess, for tissues, or I'm not really sure what that's for. Yes, it's a tissue box. So in here, um, you have a power supply, you have a little spot there, and you have a place to put some quarters, I guess. But also, it has this little spot right here for wires to go in and out of this compartment. So you can plug in something there, run the wire out through this little groove, and plug, plug it into your phone or whatever so you can um, not pinch your wires. Alrighty. It does have an auto dim rear view mirror, which I think it's auto, yeah, it's auto dimming now a little bit because I do have the sensor back here covered up with this, um, this uh, light shade, I mean the shade here. But anyways, um, it is an auto dim rear view mirror and you can turn that feature on and off here place to put your sunglasses or your garage door opener or whatever you want to use that for so up here we've got some more buttons and some of these are um, you typically you know see down below or but they put them up here for some reason I'm not sure I guess because they ran out of space below this is the traction control button you can turn the track it's typically on but you can turn it off by pushing that button. So um, you know this would this would only be when you're you're stuck or you need to spin tires for some reason. Um, you can turn that off. Advanced traction control is when you're doing some off road, off roading, and you don't really want the real strict tra traction control. You need some advanced traction traction control. Um, so if you need it, it basically adapts to the situation you're in what gear you're in what you know if you're in four-wheel drive or not um, so that way it takes into account your conditions uh, instead of just keeping you completely from not spinning tires now this is a down like a downhill descent type um, button here this is only for off-road and it's only for like four-wheel drive low if you're going down a real steep grade and it's kind of loose gravel or some kind of slippery surface uh, this will uh, help you get down the hill a little bit better um, without slipping and sliding. It, it's some kind of computer system that controls the brakes and you know kind of helps you out. So these buttons here are for your garage door openers. You just have to set them up for your system there. And this is if you want to have the the lights turn on with the doors or not. You can have it turned off or when you open up the door, uh, the lights will turn on. So you can turn that feature off if you want to, just in case you know you have a baby sleeping or something and you don't want the baby to wake up, that kind of stuff. Uh, you do have an SOS button. I'm not, I don't know what that, I don't know if that calls 911 or what it does, but um, so 
it, it, I guess an emergency you just push that and it'll some guy you'll get some kind of help and you do have these tap lights to have a quick reading light and if I'm not mistaken yeah that's a little um, ambient light for nighttime it'll it'll kind of shine down and give you some kind of moonlight illumination in the center of the vehicle hopefully I'll be able to do a night video on some Toyota soon so these buttons are for your sunroof which is right here and it does have a pretty good shade to where you can you know close out the light because right now it's a really hot day so having sun shining on me is not really what I want but I can open up the shade and um, I can tilt up the sunroof if I want to or I can slide it all the way open that's as far as it goes so I'm going to go ahead and close it up and like I said, on a really hot day, you don't really want the sun on you, you can close it up like that. Alrighty, so let's take a look back here. Take a look at the visibility this time. This is a really amazing vehicle. So there you have it, 2015 Toyota 4Runner Limited, this is kind of the fancy version. So if you have any questions, any comments, if you have any experience with this vehicle, let me know in the comments. Really really appreciate it and other, everybody else would too. Um, the intention of these videos is to add value to your shop, either shopping experience or just curiosity. And so if you're thinking about buying one of these, please. Uh, make some comments and uh, ask questions, you know, have some statements whether you chose to buy one or not, that kind of stuff. It really helps other people out in their pursuit of knowledge. So anyways, thanks for watching and thank you to Sparks Toyota for allowing me to show off an awesome vehicle again. And I'll see you next time.